Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. And today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you as well as a few things from the Dollarama. Our stores here opened in Ontario and I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty excited to get back into the stores. So let me just show you what I picked up. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. If you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love the party section at the Dollar Tree. I am always so impressed with the things that they come out with at the Dollar Tree. So I have a little one turning two in July and she absolutely loves accessories and she loves everything fancy. So I wanted to show you what I picked up for her birthday party. I got this super cute unicorn headband. This little girl absolutely loves everything fancy, so I think she's gonna love this little headband. I also found a little birthday banner and also some little headbands for all her little friends to wear. She'll get to wear the fancy one and her friends will have a little party hat as well. And then to wrap her gift, I got her this silver shiny bag with some little tissue paper with rainbows on it. And for her birthday, I got really cute, fancy goggles from Indigo and a great big inflatable rainbow for her pool. And so I thought that was super cute. The next few things I got were for outside. We're spending a lot more time outside these days. And so just to have an opportunity for the children to continue their writing outside, I bought some pencils and a little pencil sharpener in case they get dull and this just gives the children an opportunity for them to continue writing even when they're outside. The children have been loving gardening and we noticed that a couple of our gardening gloves have seen better days so I picked up these really sweet lemon ones and they've been loving the mud kitchen these days and so I just picked up a package of some containers that way they can collect little rocks or little pieces of flowers or whatever they want for their mud kitchen. And I also picked up a set of measuring spoons. I think it's really fun to just give them simple ingredients. So I picked up some cinnamon, which is also good to deter cats and things like that from using the washroom in your sandbox. So that's a little tip. And this is a great sensory experience because it smells so good and some sprinkles. So I'll be giving these to the children as well to be able to bake all those mud pies with. I have a little one graduating and we're going to be holding her little graduation ceremony hopefully in August. And I got this little decoration to hopefully hold her picture in. And I needed some more of these cotton rounds. I use these to clean the diaper changing station and I use some alcohol and then I just wipe it down. And then last few things were for the dramatic play area. I have these fun little whale flip flops and then a little whale hat and a lemon hat. I thought these were super cute and perfect for summer dramatic play. And right now we're doing an insect theme, but we're going to kind of morph it into some camping a little bit later in the summer. And I found this little lantern. It has a little LED light in it, so I thought this would be a really sweet prop for our camping theme. I do have a set of glasses in my dramatic play area. And last week I noticed the children all kind of fighting over them. So I picked up a couple more pairs of glasses from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna pop out the lenses and that way the children have glasses that they can dress in. Putting glasses in your dramatic play is another great way to normalize characteristics of people. So some people wear glasses, some people don't. So these are super inexpensive and easy to incorporate a little more diversity in the classroom. If your children were older, it would be really fun to play eye doctor with the children. It would be a really fun way to introduce some more literacy, adding letters or numbers for the children to practice. 
when they see the eye doctor. So that's it for the Dollar Tree. And then I just purchased a couple things from the Dollarama. So let me show you what I got. I was in desperate need of some new clothespins. Mine are either broken or they've been left out in the rain a few too many times and they're leaving some marks on my clothes. So I grabbed two new boxes of bamboo clothespins and you get 24 pieces in a pack for $1.50. I forgot to look for balloons when I was at the Dollar Tree, but I picked up some balloons for the little one's birthday. I had already purchased the little gray containers from the Dollar Tree, but I couldn't resist this colorful pack. They were $1.25 and I thought they'd be perfect for the mud kitchen. And the last thing I found was super fun, alphabet soup. And so I thought this would be a perfect addition for our mud kitchen. They're little alphabet sponges. And so you can make alphabet soup using these little sponges. So I grabbed two sets, but I'm actually tempted to go and get some more. Sometimes when you find these things, you're not sure if you're ever gonna see them again. And I'd imagine that they're not going to last forever. Um, I have one little one that's quite rough on things. And so I can imagine that um, they won't last terribly long but this is a great way to add some literacy into your outdoor mud kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this fun little haul. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.